So now we're gonna examine another condition called the uh, talophoise lesion. Let's listen to a clinical vignette first. So there is a patient with an unremarkable past medical history and no history of heartburn or dyspepsia who comes to you with acute hematemesis and physical examination identifies only mild epigastric abdominal tenderness. So when an endoscopy was conducted, there was only blood in the gastric lumen without the presence of any ulcers, gastric wall erosions, or esophageal or gastric varices. And he had no uh, uh, history of IV drug abuse or stigmata of chronic liver disease or previous history of uh, GI bleeding. So such a hematemesis in the absence of a definitive bleeding source identified on endoscopy is called an obscure upper GI bleed. Let me remind you that the endoscopy only identified presence of blood in the gastric lumen. So let's come here to the notes now. So Delphoise lesion is a superficial tortuous ectatic arteriole. It's a rare but a life-threatening cause of uh, bleeding, upper GI bleed. And it constitutes 1-2% to 2 of GI bleeding. The most common site it affects is the stomach. A bit of history. It's named after a French surgeon called Georges Dalafoy in 1898. So what exactly is a Dalafoy lesion? It's a histologically normal vessel with an abnormally large diameter and a tortuous course which protrudes through a small mucosal defect in the organ. So basically what happens, uh, it usually occurs in the lesser curvature of the stomach and is usually six centimeters away from the gastroesophageal junction. This is a diagram of the stomach showing the different parts of the stomach, the fundus, the cardia, the body, the antrum, the pylorus. So what really happens is that this, let's say, is the mucosa and here is your really tortuous and fat vessel with a thick diameter now there is some kind of mucosal defect here because of which this vessel gets exposed outside and then because of some kind of stress or alcohol consumption anything it bursts you know you don't really know why it bursts and then there is blood all over there is bleeding and the person will have an episode of hematemesis that means blood and vomit and will only have mild epigastric tenderness without any past history that may suggest a chronic cause of upper GI bleed apart from the stomach it also occurs in the duodenum and the colon it's more common in men than in women. The risk factors include antiplatelet agent and alcohol consumption. Now, how do you treat it? The diagnosis is by endoscopy, like we heard in the clinical vignette. But how is the treatment done? Therapeutic endoscopy is effective in 90% of the cases. If this does not work, an alternative treatment is angiography. But if both 1 and 2 don't work, then you have to perform a surgical intervention to cure this. That would be